morning guys, welcome to day four in Orlando. Today we are at SeaWorld. Uh, this is home to my favourite water ride ever, Journey to Atlantis. So I'm hoping the queues aren't too bad for that. And we'll see if we're brave enough to ride Mako again. We did it last year. Um, yeah, it was good, but you come off with really jelly legs. Uh, so we'll see what it's like, what the queues are like for that. of the day Manta um, Harry and I are going to go and have a look in the aquarium which is situated just next to the entrance to the ride um, I'm not a massive fan of Manta because it's one of those sort of hanging rides and it sort of um, pulls you up in your face in the ground last time I went on it I just didn't I just felt like I was gonna fall out I'm sure I wouldn't have done um, it is an amazing roller coaster but it's just not my cup of tea I think I'm gonna save myself from, uh, for Mako later on Atlantis amazing as always see it's just like a, a standard log flume ride but at the end of the um, big drop you get one more small drop and then it turns into a roller coaster at the end absolutely amazing I want to go straight back on it um, when you come through the gift shop for the ride they've also got another aquarium so I'm just going to show you a little bit of the aquarium here before we head on to the next ride
second, um, I asked him what was better, with or without VR. He said they're both good, um, but with um, VR there's not so much of an adrenaline rush because you can't really see what's going on around you. He does like the VR, but if you want an adrenaline rush, it's better without. Uh, so now we're heading into Antarctica to go on the penguin ride. I'm not quite sure what it's called actually. Empire of the Penguin, <laughs> that's the next ride for the day, Empire of the Penguin. ride it's so beautiful inside the color is uh, the colors and everything are so vibrant and then at the end of the ride it um, opens you up into the, um, the actual penguin enclosure be warned though it's freezing in there and you're not allowed to go in there wet so if you've been on journey to Atlantis don't go straight onto the penguin ride you do need to dry off first 
fantastic ride. Um, we're just going to go and do my favourite thing to do now, which is um, feed the sea lion. So Harry's about to <laughs> feed the sea lions but he's not too happy about handling raw fish. <laughs> and it's a feeding frenzy. It's always a fight between the birds and the sea lions. So it's like Harry's chickened out, so it's gonna be Daddy doing it. I could stand here all day feeding these gorgeous creatures. <laughs> no. So I've just finished with the sea lions, we just said them four trays of food. I could honestly spend all day there looking at them, so they're so funny to watch. Uh, and the birds that surround the, the pool, they are ruthless. If you're trying to feed the, uh, the sea lions, the birds will attack you. Um, I, was, I, I delayed a little bit to give uh, one of the fish to one of the sea lions and this huge, I don't know what kind of a bird it was, just swooped across my face and grabbed the fish out of my hands. If we'd caught that on camera it would have been hilarious. So Harry and I are just queuing up for the Sky Tower. It used to be um, included in admission at SeaWorld but now you have to pay uh, $2 per person. Uh, Neil's not joining us on this, he's not too keen on highs and as you can see the tower is pretty high. It goes oh, I don't know, about 200 foot in the air, I'm not sure. But you get some really fantastic views from the top which we'll show you once we're up there. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be.